Hi guys and welcome to .NET Mastery. In today's video, we will be exploring how to have integer primary key in the .NET identity tables like ASP.NET users, ASP.NET roles and other tables. My name is Brugain and welcome to .NET Mastery. If you are new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button that way you are notified when I release a new video. Now back to the main topic. The default primary key of ASP.NET users table is a quid and that is a string value. Now that is great, but sometimes you are in a situation where you explicitly want to have integer primary key for ASP.NET users, roles and other tables. Thankfully, .NET team has thought through that and there is a workaround for that. But before I walk you through that workaround, let me tell you two main points here. If you are implementing this, it is only meant for new implementation. And what I am going to show you, do not do that in production application. The reason I am saying to do that in new implementation only, because when you are changing the primary key of the table, you will have to delete all the old migrations and you will have to create new migration because you are changing the core implementation of .NET identity. Now that being said, I am not saying that it is impossible to do if you already have an existing project, but that will be way more complex rather than implementing that with a new implementation. So in this video, we will focus on new implementation and start from ground zero. In Visual Studio 2022, let me create a new project and we will be selecting MVC project here. Let me give it a name of identity sample underscore INT here. I will select .NET 8 here. Authentication type, let me go with individual user account and let me create that. Perfect. In the application settings here or app settings, we have the database connection. The server is good for my machine. Let me remove the quid here and that database name looks good. Now that we have selected individual users account, let me close everything here. You can see in areas identity, we have the pages folder. But now main question is if we add a migration, it will basically add a migration where we will have the primary key of ASP.NET users as a string or quid. But what we want is integer. To convert that, we will open program.cs and where it adds the default identity on identity user, we will say integer in brackets here. That basically defines that we want identity user, but we want to make primary key as an integer and not a quid, which is default. After that, let me scroll down here. We have map razor pages that looks good, but with that, if I open the views where we have underscore login partial, we have identity user here and we will have to explicitly write that the primary key is integer for identity user. Finally, if I open the application DB context that is created where we have the identity DB context here, we have few option here where we can define the role user and on top of that you can see we have something called as t key that defines the type of identity key so the type we want is integer let me add that here and then we have to write the user default user is identity user where key is integer and the default role is identity role let me add that and default we want that to be integer as well here we will not have bracket and perfect. That is the last setting that is needed to make sure that we have primary key in the roles table and in the ASP.NET users table. Now with that in place, what you will have to do is you will have a migrations folder. Make sure to delete that folder. You will have to add a new migration. So if I go to package manager here, add migration, add identity tables 
and perfect migrations are added. Now if you examine the ASP.NET users table, the ID column is an integer type with identity that means it will automatically be incremented. On top of that, the primary key for ASP.NET roles is also an identity column and that is exactly what we want. Let me run the command update database here and that will create the database as long as the app settings connection string is valid. Perfect. Let me go back to the database here. Refresh that. And we have identity sample. If I examine ASP.NET user column, that is an integer value. ASP.NET roles, that is integer as well and perfect. With that, we have implemented the .NET identity, but the primary key are not good. They are integer. With that configuration here, let me run the application and see if we are able to register for a user. Perfect. Let me go here and try to register for an account. And perfect. That works here. Let me go back to the database. ASP.NET users. You can see ID is an integer column and that is great. Before I end the video, if I go back, rather than default identity, if you want your custom implementation of identity, you can do that as well. You will basically replace identity user with something like application user and then here you will have identity role. Let me show that here in models. If I add a new class here, let's say it will be application user. Then when we extend the identity user here, you will extend that and explicitly write the integer every time. Then when we have program.cs here, you can directly write application user. You will have to open the underscore login partial. Here you will have to replace that with application user and same changes you will have to do when you scaffold other identity pages. So if you do implement that change here, then make sure that wherever you write identity user, you have to define that the primary key is integer and not the default grid. And that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like the video, leave a comment and do not forget to subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys in some other video.